My Corona! <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Dover Paw here. Uh, since I can't stream anymore, I'm just recording right now. I think I'm just recording. Let me double check that. Uh, yes, I'm just recording. <laughs> I'm so used to clicking on stream or start streaming that I'm not sure if I clicked uh, start recording or start streaming. So I had to double check. And I'm streaming or recording. Bleh. Words. They are a thing that exists. Maybe. I think. Anyways, I'm uh, drawing some uh, Riju from Breath of the Wild. Speaking of which, some Breath of the Wild background music. Because there's at least some songs in this that aren't broken up horribly. <laughs> Seriously, if you ever bought the uh, official soundtrack for this game, it is a piece of shit. Like, I I bought, I got the soundtrack CD along with the game. It's awful. It is awful because the songs are all broken up into pieces and it's terrible. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Anyway, I'm going to try to draw us now. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, this... Who I'm drawing right now is uh, Riju from Breath of the Wild. She's the uh, current ruler of the Gerudo. Uh, for whatever reason, I just want to draw her sleeping with her uh, little, her big uh, seal plush. Still working on how I'm doing this. But yes. Should be good. I hope. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of these uh, videos where it's just me drawing and talking to nobody in particular because there's no chat to interact with. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It depends on the comment section. See how many people actually watch and enjoy the watching me draw. And again, I'll try to... I'll try and... Uh, Make it so it's interesting to watch me, or at least listen to me while I'm doing this. I'll try to remember to talk every now and again to make certain that people can hear me. So I'm not just, uh, not talking. Because I tend to have a hard time trying to think of something to say while I'm also working on a drawing that I'm doing. Where did that picture go? There we go. Sorry, I'm using a, an image for reference for a bed and how it looks like when someone's sleeping in it. Because I'm still learning how to draw. 30 years old and I still don't know how to draw. I've been doing this for how long? Most of my life. Pathetic. Worthless whelp. Anyway. I know she's got a bigger bed than this, but I'm... Because I'm looking at an image from the game where she's sleeping on the bed in the game, and it's fucking huge. But <laughs> I'm making the bed a little smaller so you can tell that she's on a bed. But anyway. Uh, yeah, for her outfit, uh, like... Apparently in the game she just sleeps in her regular clothes. I decided to give her like a little, like a little hoodie, a pajama hoodie, while she's sleeping. So I thought it would be cute. Got her hair coming out the bottom here on her back. Thank you. 
Yeah, how is, uh, how's everybody been doing with the, uh, the virus situation? Uh, I know a lot of people are scared and worried about it. Me, personally, I'm actually doing perfectly fine. <laughs> doing better than fine, and there's no politics or anything going around. I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, I get more anxiety from politics than I do a uh, pandemic, apparently. Thousands of people are dying! It's the end of humanity! Well, at least there's no politics. <laughs> I don't have to deal with any of the ads or the... People trying to tell me, Oh no, the world should be good this way, or the world should be that way, or you're wrong, or you're right, or blah blah blah. And it's like, shut the fuck up, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I have other things to pay attention to. Like my drawings. Again, not to, you know lessen any of the stuff that's going on now with the coronavirus. I know a lot of people are, like, really worried about it and having a lot of pr uh, problems with it. But for me, it's just like... I'm good. <laughs> My job is pretty secure because we take care of old people. I just have to make sure they don't get sick. And I never really go outside anyway, so... I don't have to worry about... I don't really have much to worry about getting sick myself either. Also, it affects people a lot older than me a lot more than it does people my age. People my age are not very affected by it, and I'm pretty pretty darn healthy, so... Chances of me get, uh, getting coronavirus are low, and chances of me dying from it are even lower, so... We'll see. If you don't hear from me in a few months, then assume I am dead. <laughs> assume I've been killed by my corona. Double check of something here. Just remembered. Gerudo have a bit of a bigger nose than uh, some characters do. It's probably why I like them. <laughs> they got them big noses. I've been working on my, uh, I'm gonna turn this music down a little bit more. There we go. It's getting loud. But, uh, I've been working a bit more on my, uh, my script. Got another page of it done. If things go well, this should probably be, like, my funniest episode yet. 
Like, I think some of the humor in it is very, very good. At least in my opinion. Some people's opinion may differ. But, uh, yes, in my opinion, I think it's very, very good. Very funny. Some of it kind of horrible and dark, but that's what makes it funny. Alright. Try to make uh do another layer of line work here. Apparently there are some artists, like myself, who need multiple layers of uh, lines before getting the line work down just right. Anyways, I hope my, uh, any corona-based jokes that I make don't offend people, because, uh... Ultimately, I'm just trying to have fun and, you know, lighten people's day with my videos. That's ultimately what my, uh, channel is for. But, uh, sometimes people take my jokes in the wrong way, and... Uh... Sometimes not in a way that I would intended, and it ends up not sounding so good. Or so funny to them. I mean, I know there's nothing I can really do about that, but... I at least, you know... Try to keep my stuff, uh... Basically at a... Level, an unoffensive level, but... No, I can't always please everybody. So I just do what I can, but... I do hope you are all staying safe during this, uh... Pandemic. Part of the reason I'm having such a good time is probably because I have been keeping safe, and most of the rest of my family has too. And we'll see what the future holds. But, uh, as for you people in Florida who are going to the beaches in droves while this is going on, you deserve whatever the fuck you get. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. If you are dumb enough to go out during this and go to the beach with a bunch of other people around, you deserve whatever the fuck you get. And I'm not apologizing for that. You, you brought that on yourself. Gotta try not to focus too much on detail with all these. Otherwise I end up getting lost in detail and it just ends up backfiring on me. Yeah, 
as for where I work, we've changed over a few things. Uh, we're trying to keep the residents from leaving their rooms too much. Again, I work at a nursing home, so we got a lot of elderly people there. There's a few of them who have uh, very much voiced their objections to this, but uh, we got to do what we can to keep them safe because they are very susceptible to this. So, their, their objections have been heard, but ultimately ignored. Though we can't completely ignore them, because, you know, residents' rights and whatnot, they're, uh, if they insist on being able to leave their rooms and wander around, we can't really stop them, but we do what we can. Anywho. Trying to hold a conversation with myself while drawing is very difficult. I'm trying to think of something else to talk about. I don't really have much. I'm hoping Breath of the Wild 2 will be a good game. I mean, I really enjoyed the gameplay of Breath of the Wild 1. But there's a number of other things about it that I think could have definitely been improved, like, a lot. Mainly, mainly the story and characters. Again, the gameplay I thought was great. Uh, maybe you work a little bit on the durability of the weapons. You can still make them, you know, break or whatever, but maybe increase the durability and give us a ch an option to bring it to like a blacksmith or whatever to pay like a small fine to get it fixed. That way, any, like, rare weapons that we have, we don't, you know, just hoard and never use because we're afraid of them breaking. I feel that would, like, really make that part of the gameplay a lot better. I mean, I like the fact that the weapons break because it forces me to use other weapons to change up my gameplay style a little bit, but... When you find, like, a rare weapon and you never end up using it because you're worried about, you know, losing it, then that just defeats the purpose of having it in the first place. And that's the problem with the durability weapons. So hopefully they end up fixing that. But we will see.
Yeah, I'm, I'm also honestly hoping for, like, a lot more, uh... Like, character interactions between Link and Zelda. Because we didn't really get much of anything except for the memories. And honestly, those were not good enough. I mean, they were good, but not good enough. Because it's a story that already happened that you're not experiencing yourself with in the game. You're just finding the lost memories and watching them again. That makes it feel not as good, in my opinion. So, hopefully we get more story and character interaction between the characters. And I'm really hoping that that scene, that, that stuff that they showed when they first announced Breath of the Wild 2, is not just, you know, it looks like Link and Zelda get separated by Zelda falling into like a... Falling in like, like a pit that opened up or something. I'm really hoping that it's not going to be, Oh, Zelda was taken away from you, now you got to spend the entire game looking for her. And it's like... Why can't I just fucking have an adventure with her? Like, have some actual character development or something, instead of just... Not that. Pisses me off. But anyway. That's my opinion. You are allowed your own. Yeah, I'm hoping that since the gameplay is already done for them, and if they're gonna have it take place in the same, like, kingdom of Hyrule, and they're just gonna, like, change up some of the locations and whatnot, which I'm perfectly okay with, uh, they should have most of the work done for the new game. So all they really have to do is, like, say, um, they should, what, I'm, what I mean is they should have more time to, uh, work on an actual story and characters rather than just the gameplay. Like, I give Breath of the Wild a lot of leeway because it was a whole new, like, venture for the, uh, development team to make a completely new type of Zelda game. And they were mostly focusing on making a good gameplay. But now they have the good gameplay. So now they have no excuse but to work on the story and characters. Which is honestly putting a lot of like... A lot of hype and a lot of uh, expectation on the second Breath of the Wild game. Which I hope it lives up to. I don't know if it will. I'm trying to keep my uh, expectations as low as possible so I don't ruin the game for myself, but yeah, I do have I do have some pretty lofty expectations for the next Zelda game, and I hope they can meet it. And if not, well, sometimes that just happens.
That looks better, I think. turning out. Well, uh... Shit, what else can I talk about? Uh, there. Don't want to talk about my episode, because I might accidentally ruin something or spoil something. I can't think of anything. There's not really any games I'm particularly looking forward to that are coming out. I know uh, Animal Crossing will be coming out soon, but I'm not really an Animal Crossing person. I also know Doom Eternal is coming out, but I'm not a Doom person either. <laughs> Ori and the Will of Wisps came out not too long ago. I played through that. I had a lot of fun with that. Other than that, though... Not all that much I can think of. this uh, image for color reference. I'm actually getting ahead of myself though. Um, open a different layer. Put in these color references.
it coming up green? That's clearly not green. Like a turquoise. Maybe I can find a better picture of that thing. That's the best I'm getting. Uh, anyway. Let's see if I can do this properly. Jeez, what should I talk about while I'm doing this, though? Crap. I, mean, I guess I've been uh, been watching a lot of uh, animatics. Those are kind of like animations, but not as uh, <laughs> not finished. Uh, animatics of uh, the Alexander Hamilton musical. They've been kind of fun.
sorry, doing line art. It takes a bit of concentration to make sure I don't F it up. Actually, I've been watching a lot of different animatics. They've, they've been a lot of fun. I, I love looking at uh, character designs from other artists, and those are like some of the best I've seen. I feel like they keep making her arm thicker every time I work on it. <laughs> She's a strong goyle. So much goyle in this strong. Yeah, looking up uh, various other people's uh, style of uh, character design is a lot of fun for me. I have always, always loved looking up other people's designs and just, like, studying them, pretty much. Sometimes trying to figure out how to draw them myself so that I can... You know, learn. Learn, bitch, learn! But I don't wanna. Too bad. You will learn. Uh, how many people remember, um... Remember an old uh, Twisted Sister music video. Like at the start of the vid video, it just shows a classroom, the bell rings, and class is starting, the teacher just comes in, and he's just the most over-the-top thing. He's just like, Hello, students. Class has, or summer, is over. School has begun. I am in command. <laughs> it's just... It's just a wonderful introduction, and all the kids are just like, "Oh, What was that? For that little outburst, you'll all, you will all receive det detention today, immediately after school, in the basement. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's so much fun. It's so dumb, but it's so much fun. Oh. He looks at one of the kids' uh, desks and sees a textbook that the prig uh, kid uh, drew uh, the Twisted Sister logo on. And the guy's just like, what is this? Twisted Sister? What kind of a man desecrates a defenseless textbook? I have a good mind to slap your fat face. All right, Mr. Sister, I want you to tell me, no, better yet, stand up and tell the class. What do you want to do with your life? <laughs> and it's just, and the music video kind of starts there, and it's, it's great. <laughs> it's just such an over-the-top performance, and it's just wonderful. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, I think it's I Wanna Rock by Twisted Sister. I think that's the name of the song. Uh, you may recognize it as uh, I'm a Goofy Goober song from the Spongebob Squarepants movie. The first one. The good one. Um, <laughs> that's mean, but it's not exactly untrue. But, um, yeah, uh, it's a good song. It's a wonderful music video. At least the start of it is wonderful. 
the music video itself, it, they're just kind of walking around the school while the guy's constantly hounding after them. It's kind of a boring music video, honestly, but uh, the start of it is just wonderful. The introduction is just great. The toppest of tier. <laughs> I really do hope that people actually, you know, like watching this video and I'm not just going to put it up and find out, oh, no one watched it. Well, I guess I talked for however long for no reason. Yeah. Hoping people like it. Yeah, I had to look up various references to get this, uh, Sleeping pose, right? I'm really trying not to put too much detail into the feet because, uh, Feet and hands are difficult, and if I focus too much on putting too much detail on them, they end up looking bad, and they take forever, so... You may see stuff like this. <laughs> well, I clearly didn't even bother trying. I take that back. I actually did try tremendously hard to get this done right, but uh, it doesn't always go the way you try to get it done. Ah, oh, crap. I selected the wrong tool. I'll do that now and again. It kind of sucks that they put the pen and the pencil tool right next to each other, so it's easy to get them mixed up. Especially since I used both of them for... One for sketching, one for lining. I use the paintbrush for coloring.
Oh, dang, I need to talk about something. <coughs> so what am I going to do when I'm all done with Wind Waker abridged? Because I'm kind of done with abridging after that. feel like I've done all I can with that. Or at least all I'm willing to do. I've got a few ideas. I don't want to spoil too much, but... Uh, one of my ideas is a dream journal that I have. Basically, uh... I've written down a few of my more... Uh, interesting dreams <coughs> excuse me and I think I'll try to tell a few of them now and again I think they should be fun some of them are pretty nuts last night I had an interesting dream but then I ended up having another dream after that like when for, went transitioned from one dream into another one the second one wasn't nearly as interesting but as soon as I woke up I forgot the first one and started forgetting the second one and I'm just like second one's not good enough to be put down so I just ended up forgetting it so sorry I can't talk too much about it you know what I do remember what the first one was it was actually the uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged characters all getting together and playing a D&D &D campaign. Like, not, not Dragon Ball Z Bridge like, main cast. Like, I know they've done a D&D &D, uh, uh, campaign. I mean, like, the characters. Like, Pic Piccolo, Cell, Gohan, uh, Krillin. I think Krillin was the game master, actually. <laughs> and they all had the personalities of the uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged characters. Like, they're abridged uh, alternates. So, they're playing a D&D campaign while being those characters, and I just think that was actually kind of fun. I think that was really fun. But yes, that is the kind of dreams that I have. They're weird and kooky. But oh, so much fun. see any other ideas I have well I plan to eventually work on my comic I'm still kind of getting anatomy and stuff down for drawing so I'll probably make a few like test comics first like, I've got one idea that was inspired by reading a Sonic the Hedgehog comic um, it's basically a uh, about a robot who was found by a kid in an old abandoned uh, military factory. Uh, the robot kind of becomes his gardener and you know house, you know housekeeper. And he, the robot, constantly refo refers refoys. He refoys to the boy. <laughs> he refers to the boy as sir. Like that is basically the kid, and the kid is never like given any other name besides that the robot just constantly calls him sir 
you know, as a form of respect. Um, anyways, another robot ends up showing up. Like, like the kid leaves for the day. He's off doing, you know, whatever kids do during the, ch the day. I don't know. I was never a child. Um, <laughs> uh, the kid goes off for the day, and uh, the robot just kind of stays and tends the garden. And another robot shows up. Gonna call him Badbot for now. Badbot shows up, and he's like, uh, identifies this, the other robot as, uh, certain military grade robots that was, I guess, the enemy or something, and is going to try to execute him. And the, the comic is basically just a quick little story where the good robot, uh, transforms into its military, uh, mode, or as I wrote down, its elimination mode, because it's apparently an elimination bot, and just completely wrecks the other one. <laughs> like, the bad bot just gets completely wrecked. And then he, the good bot, uh, reverts back to his more docile-looking, you know, child-friendly appearing robot mode, and just kind of fixes up the the garden area and puts the bad bots uh, pieces out in, by the garbage <laughs> and that's about it that's the, that's the end of the comic not much to it but I thought it was kind of fun yeah that's one of the test comics that I intend to make cuz I, I wanna see if I'm even interested in making like, doing the actual work for a comic before, like, delving into a big story or anything. Because I haven't actually drawn too many, like, actual comics before. So I want to make certain I'm not jumping into something that I'm not at all uh, going to finish. So, there's that. I think it'll be fun. Nah. Fucking buttons. Um. <laughs> button eyes. I'm so terrible at drawing circles. Still looks awful. Zoom out a bit. Yeah, it looks a little better. Not much, but a little. But yeah, I'd like to uh, to get better at, or rather, to make a few test comics. Another uh, comic idea I came up with. Oh, jeez, what was it? Um, I came up with a few. It's based off of an, a video I found called... It's a Hungarian folktale called The Pussycat Princess. Uh, it's basically a story about a prince who goes out into the woods to and finds a, a magical cat. And, uh... Like, he gets lost in the woods, he finds a magical cat, she agrees to show him the way out if, uh, he makes her, uh, his fiancé, which is very odd, and the prince is not exactly willing to go with this, but it's the only way he can get out of the, out of the forest. But, you know, stuff ends up happening, and eventually, uh, the... You know, as fairy tales go, the curse on the princess breaks and she turns back into... Or the curse on the cat breaks and she turns into a beautiful princess and they live happily ever after, blah blah blah. But I think, it, I think it's a fun idea for a quick little story. I've got a few ideas for some quick stories that, you know, wouldn't take very long to make. I just need to make them. But I want to finish Wind Waker first, because 
I don't want to try splitting my attention too much. Otherwise, I'm never going to get anything done. Let's see, yeah, there's the comic, there's the dream journal, and maybe I'll do some animations or animatics or something. And it's not like I'll completely stop doing abridged, abridged videos either. Uh, I I've said this before, but I do actually, oh, dang it. I do actually have a idea for um, Triforce Heroes that would only last one video, but I think is funny enough, damn it, that I think people would like it. Yeah, uh, for any of you who are still uh, listening up to this point, because <laughs> I know not a lot of you bother uh, watching uh, some of my long uh, stream videos when you're not part of the stream, but for anyone who is uh, going to be listening, I hope you'll look forward to those ideas. Because I do intend to eventually have them completed. Anyone else think this sounds like Miyazaki music now? I don't know, it just sounded like something from Miyazaki for a second there. Anyway, let's uh oops. Let's take a look at this. There we go. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. I'll try coloring it later. And I hope you all enjoyed this little video I had recording of me. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it was entertaining and hope, and maybe I'll do more again sometime. I don't know. Uh, again, sorry if, uh, if you were hoping for a stream, I can't really stream anymore. For internet problems. Which upset me. But, whatever. I do hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope you all stay safe during this uh, infectious season. <laughs> and I hope I was able to bring you a little joy today. Love you guys. Have a good one.